Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. This time, we're going to talk about the Lightning Collection Koryu Black, aka Dino Charge Black, because to me, they're the same thing. Body wise, we get in a figure that highly resembles that of obviously because the same suit designs. So, yeah, I'm gonna call it Koryu Black because that's what I know him as. I did not watch Power Rangers Dino Charge, unfortunately, so that's why I have to refer to him as, but I'm not gonna be a jerk about it. Obviously, it's Dino Charge Black, that's the rendition that we're getting. Um, and what's really cool about it is. It's like I've previously shown in a bunch of my videos for Lightning Collection, you can actually mix and match uh, at least the weapons part of the Japanese stuff with the US stuff and get the best of both worlds. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. The design for Dino Charge Black is really nice because it keeps it very simple and very nice. And something about this black and gray design looks really good on him. Uh, in the Japanese version, he is their sharpshooter. He never misses. He specializes with the gun weapon and gun sniper-like weapons. So it's pretty cool of this guy, uh, you know, come with two pretty much uh, trigger hands, as you can see here. But yeah, we're going to get into all that in a second. Now, outside of the look of that, I think everything else is pretty much accurate with the exception of not having silver gauntlets. Let's actually take a little bit of shine off that. So without having his silver gauntlets, that's the only thing that I think that's not pretty accurate. And I don't know why ever since the uh, Dino Charge Gold, they stopped doing the silver on the gauntlets. I don't know what that's about. So obviously this is not painted up crazy good. But again, these are $20 figures, so I can't complain too much, right? So let's jump into the articulation. Articulation wise, our head can go up, it can go down, we can tilt left and right. Actually, we can swivel left and right. We can't tilt, so there's no tilting. We can swivel left and right, though. The armor is one solid piece. It does not move up or down. Our arms can still get a lot of varying range. So they can still hold up and get a T-pose. We have a butterfly. Um, we do have a butterfly joint, but we do have a bicep swivel as well. For our butterfly joint, we can go further backwards than we can go forward. Mm, just a little bit further back, but not crazy. On the left hand side, you're gonna come into a little hindrance because it's gonna be a little bit of that armor getting in the way. So keep that in mind. We are double jointed. And this is very good for shooting poses for those of you that like. We can tilt side to side on our torso and our ab crunch going backwards is, is crazy good. Going forward is just as good as well. As far as the turning of the waist is all gonna be on the upper torso. You can't do that on the lower part. Our legs can go this far forward while serving a nice double joint and having a uh, thigh swivel. You're gonna get a boot cut, which is almost impossible to realize unless you actually do it. We have super generous ankle pivot, forwards, backwards, and rotating in. So posing this guy should not be much of an issue as he can get all his cool Sentai poses. All right, like this. Our hinges are going to be horizontal and not vertical. So they rotate down like this. Overall, I will say this, he does look pretty clean. Um, it's one of those things, this came out of nowhere. So shout out to MCU Collector who actually hit me up after I said, can somebody help me get one? And they did, as well as my main man, Pharaoh Black, who got me another because I'm going to try to paint one up. And posing this guy up is actually really exceptional. Looks really good posed up these guys i really adore the lightning collection for adding that new step of articulation that has gone further with the gi joe stuff so we really got a nice combination of things to come now we're going to talk about his accessories and i'm going to actually compare accessories to the japanese stuff as well too so let's jump to that all right y'all now let's talk about accessories and this is where it gets kind of dope because as you've seen in my previous videos we can actually uh use the shf stuff for the lightning collection stuff which actually makes me pretty happy so first and foremost, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the other hands. So you're only gonna get a closed fist and a karate chopping hand. And this is where I'm a little bummed out because they keep skimping out on the silver painting, which is not that big of a deal if I knew how to paint, but I can't and I don't wanna make it sloppy. So this is where I usually ask one of my friends and I pay them to paint it silver for me. And uh, if you don't wanna do that, you can easily just swap hands with that of the original uh, Dino Charge Red. So yeah, you can do that if you want to too. There's also that option. Next up, we're gonna talk about the head sculpt, which um, as I've stated before, I do not watch the American uh, Power Rangers, not anymore. 
I try to keep up, but it's really difficult, and I just I haven't. And this guy, uh, although I don't know who it is, it looks like a pretty decent head sculpt because I've Googled the guy just to make sure who it was. But I will say this, though. Um, when you pop this head on to anything else, it looks like Tommy from Power. I'm just going to be 100% honest when I say that. It looked like Tommy from Power. <laughs> then we're going to have our standard uh, Henshin changer. It's just also a shooting device, which is he's a sharpshooter of the club. So it totally makes sense that his would be a little bit more uh, designed. What, it's a shame, though, it's not painted on both sides. So when you compare it to his SHF counterpart, you really get uh, you realize just how many more details you're missing. So it sucks that this is not one of those things they put a little bit of extra effort into. But again, $20 figures, I can't complain too much. One cool thing, though, about this is that you get a pretty significant effect for him because he uses, like I said, he's a sharpshooter. And this effect plugs in and looks really dope. I will say this, it actually looks really good. And if you have the SHF, just know that this effect actually works on the SHF one too. You gotta push in a little bit harder and it works out just fine as well too. So like me, I'm going to use the SHF one for photos. I'm gonna use this effect, it's really cool. Then we have our blade, the Gabadoo Caliber, and at least for me. This is a nice longer blade for the lightning collection stuff. Very much unpainted though. So when you, again, when you compare it to the SHF, which don't get it twisted, they shouldn't be compared because one is a uh, an adult collector's figure and one is definitely meant for children. You can see the difference in the paint job. But again, uh, the reason why I'm comparing the two is because if you want to swap parts out with them, this actually would be a best bet, right? So the blade on the SHF is smaller but it is better painted. So depending on how you want to go about that, it's totally going to be up to you, right? And I think that's it for accessories that we've covered for this guy. Now we're going to jump into the size comparison. So let's get to that. Now we're going to jump into the size comparisons. Uh, first things first, I do want to compare him to his SHF counterpart so we can see the size difference and why, just why the weapons are a bit smaller in case you didn't know. And as you know, the SHF is much smaller. So yeah. We have that, right? <laughs> Next up, we're gonna compare it to its other Lightning Collection counterparts. So we have red release so far and gold. So let's compare the two, size-wise. And black seems to hold up pretty well height-wise with his counterpart for red and gold. It seems to be working out pretty well, size-wise. I don't know why my reds usually come bow-legged. I don't know what that is about. <laughs> Next up, we want to compare it to a putty in case you want to get universal with your timelines or do the boom comic book stuff where you can either fight them, have them fight Lord Dracon or, or putties or whatever it is you're going to do, or even Goldar, right? Now we're going to jump into some other lines and see what's really good in the hood. Here we are with a Mythic Legions. This is a 2.0 body. And I think Mythic Legions actually work out pretty well with the Lightning Collection stuff. So you use those skeletons and, and boreas and asherons as like Power Ranger bad guys. They work out pretty well size-wise. That is a Mezco head I popped on there that was dremeled. Kiss your accent. <clears throat> Here is a Articulated Icons Ninja. Because Dinosaurs versus Ninjas is anything is possible in Sentai. Um, let's see, let's do a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. A lot of domestic stuff we can compare to. And as you can see, he fits in pretty decently with these guys. Not too big, not too small, kind of just in between, right? Next up, we have an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, let's do 1000 Toys Card. And last but not least, let's do a Mezco Me. Let's put me in there. Put me in, coach. So here we are. All in all, this is one of those things where I, my love for tokusats and sentai definitely come in. And even though I love the Japanese stuff, I could totally see why people would appreciate the American stuff. And it's being done pretty well, honestly, even for the 20 bucks that it is. So if you are able to get one, I think you'll very much enjoy it. I think you'll have a good time having fun with this figure. In the meantime, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative. And as always, Please be good, do good, drink your water. Later.